Look at these shiny beastmen coming in here, ready to rock. Versus these rat boys. It's the battle of the vermin. Disease-written vermin versus disease-written Nurgle followers. Alright, that was a little long-winded. Okay, let's get to it. Looks like we have Ice Kandar versus Ladies Hate Coolpaw, <laughs> which is a great name. Bunch of marauders, pestigores, pestigores, marauders. Clan rats, rats, rats. Night runners, death runners, skaven slaves. Gisales. Ooh, all the good stuff. Avalanche mortars, a real kick in the nuts if Iskander is not careful. And here we go. Right here on the Battle of Itza. And we have the Stinky Boy versus the Stinky Boys. We got two exalted heroes and the Sorcerer of Nurgle. So a little goon squad. And it looks like the Pestigords are having a rough time over on the side objective here. When I find this build, uh, I find this interesting, uh, Ice Kandar's build at least. There go the mortars already. Very little damage. Surprise, usually Avalanche mortars just delete things. Warblock Gisele is just getting into the Sorcerer, but uh, Sorcerer of Nurgle is really tough to kill with that Everlasting Crown. But yeah, best, back to Ice Kandar's build. With all the new tech and toys that Nurgle got, it's really surprising to see the old Nurgle tactics still coming in here. But it's nice to see it in a way because you get all the new stuff with some old school ideas mixed in. So you got a goon squad, you got the Furies to just shut down anything, you have the Sorcerer who just will not die. And these mortars are not happening. You have the wolf rats surrounding the sorcerer. And I am surprised. This guy's still alive. Absolutely surrounded, baited, and should be eaten alive right now by these wolf rats. But 58 melee defense, even against the wolf rats, not gonna happen. Pestigors finally came in. They have Furies backing up, up as well. The sorcerer's actually out healing the wolf rats' damage <laughs> just because they can't hit it often enough. You also got Pestigors and Marauders just pushing back to Skaven. Fury is just shutting down Mortars and Gisales. It's just absolutely, these guys, this is how you handle Skaven. You come and deal with their horde. What is this? Skrulk? Yeah, Stinky Boy Skrulk is getting his shit rocked as well. Skrulk just doesn't know where he wants to go. He's in the center, but he's not doing anything. And it's just Ice Kandar's slicing in here, even though the value is even. And, uh, Cool Paul over here <laughs> has more units. Actually, he's got several, several more units. His important units are being shut down right now. And all he has is the center. And Iskandar just, Iskandar just came with a wave of Nurgle Tide. Here come the Rat Ogres. The Hell's Abominations, or what are they called? Hell's Pits Deep, or some shit. They're mean, they're green, and they're ratty. The Avalanche Mortars are so back in their spawn, I don't know if they're going to be able to ever fire this game. And he's losing the units left and right here. Pestigore's just ignoring them, trying to get in there. Night Runner's having a fun time dealing with all this. And these Furies just do not die. I know they're Nurgle Furies, but damn. And here come Chaos Knights, just to hold the center by themselves. F-57 melee defense is going to go for a long time. Pestigore is over-chasing right now. Clan Rat's trying to survive, but we all know how that's going to end up. And then you have these Chaos Knights coming in for the rear charge. Ooh! I will never not enjoy watching... Chaos Knights of any faction just ram themselves in. Beautiful. What a fun unit. If I ever get into AOS or Old World, I really want to do a Slaves of Darkness army with nothing but Chaos Knights. They just look so fucking cool on tabletop. And in this game! <laughs> 
And these abomination, these rat ogres are sitting here getting overwhelmed and enraged. Stroke doing a little damage here. Retaking the top objective. It looks like Ice Gandar's finally. Uh, he's not in the defensive, but he is down on points and objectives. But he's got what he needs right now. A lot of quality units coming in. Here come the real kick in the balls. Plague Toads should help out these two heroes who are just been holding the line against all these rats. Another nice cycle charge in. Yes. And that will give Iskandar the center. And looks like Skrulk actually has overstayed his welcome because now... Ooh, Rants of Visitation. Yeah. Ooh. Iskandar, he did him so dirty. I know you're Nurgle and he's Skaven, but that is just so nasty. Just clean. Even though he's playing Nurgle, this is just... I don't know about the clean. The cleanest, but it is clean so far. He's taking out high priority targets, cycle charged units, a few minor mistakes, but nothing too devastating. Definitely cleaner than my gameplay. This is why uh, Skaven has fallen so far. I mean, when you nerf a bunch of unit, uh, factions, units, prize units, like their Globideers, and just keep giving other factions high end buffs and new DLCs and all this. It can be rough. I love it as a chaos player, but it can be rough for other factions that I feel bad for. That have been here a long time. It almost feels like everything from Warhammer 1 and 2 really do need a rework to catch up with the uh, everything coming in. I mean, just look at how Dwarves and Empire are now nice, fresh, and ready to battle now that they got their rework. Damn near rework and some new toys to play with. It'd be nice to see Vampire Coast count all those other factions. Get a nice couple of updates. Norska, <laughs> shit. Everyone's been saying Norska needs it, and hopefully they'll get it. And, yeah. And props to Paul here. Cool Paul. Gotta say the right. For lasting as long as he did. And he's definitely doing better than I probably would have if I went up against Iskandar. Good Vanguard. Nice opening of just taking the points. It just Skaven just flops real hard. It's tough. I don't know how I would do that. Maybe just get more bombs. Just like two or three bombs instead of Night Runners. Instead of going for points, try to go for value in the open. That way he can't really summon in Furies or anything. Because that way he doesn't have anything on the ground if he's too busy trying to summon in Furies. And then counter charge with either Ogres or Rat. Wolf Rats. Maybe... Or just a bunch of Death Runners? Maybe? Probably? Yeah. yeah, the Goon Squad is really tough. Skaven just have a tough time dealing with large units, which is a bit of a surprise. You think you would think they'd have an easier time. Unless you're bringing like Storm Vermin or Eshin Triads, you're really not going to have an easy time dealing with them. They'll easily get into the back lane. Rat Ogres are a great way to deal with them too, but Rat Ogres aren't that fast. Rat Ogres are what I call a Defender unit. You, yeah. Skaven doesn't really have Cav. Uh, <laughs> I don't even remember the giant uh, SEM rat that's supposed to... That heals. I don't even remember that unit's name. <laughs> it's been so long. It's so expensive and doesn't do its job at all too well. Which is why I've forgotten its name. I haven't played Skaven in a while. A long time. I don't plan on playing them anytime soon. It's just... You know, you play Verbentide once or twice, and you're like, well, I did everything I wanted to in Skaven. That was fun. Next. It's not like you have Forsaken, Furies, all these fun units, all these nice little abilities. Although, I wouldn't mind giving Skaven another try once in a while. And yeah, look at these Forsaken, able to beat back everything. Everyone gives shit for Forsaken. I love me some Forsaken. I love me some Forsaken and Spawn. Spawn are a little over costed, they wouldn't be bad here either, but I think Forsaken will do the job with the high armor and beautiful, beautiful looks. <laughs> They're disgusting, but they look fucking awesome. Frenzy, hit like trucks, good speed, good armor. Moderately priced. 850 is a bit expensive though. And looking at it here, I don't see... Eh, I mean, Iskandar's down a lot of points, but... 
he is taking the value town and yeah now we are at a triple cap situation cool paul i think could have dedicated to one objective i think he should have dedicated more towards the bottom objectives for sure and this is the thing with domination just don't try to spread yourself out too thin by trying to take all the objectives i think one night runner on the top would have been it was fine that was a fine move and then once you capture just try to move them back go down whatever and just dedicate yourself to especially on this map just dedicate the two points on here but i don't know it's rough with furies on a goon squad i don't really see how skaven realistically can beat back such a force yeah because the heroes are just damn near impossible to take out they got good speed poison and yeah furies are just well they're furies right now there's just uh furies are just so strong a little over tune on the buff honestly probably could gain missile resistance but in placing some of its armor and maybe a bit of leadership so that way they can hit their targets i like that they have a lot of models now but yeah Lowering the missile resistance armors and a bit of the leadership would put them back into the proper place. Uh, knights never get their value, but they do well every time I see them. Toads did exactly what they needed to. They ate all the rats. But look at the Furies. They're not overperforming. Well, I say that, but then this one has three times their value. So yeah, maybe a, little, a few nerves here and there. But that's with Gisele, so yeah, it's fair. Anything going up against Gisele's will end up getting that kind of value. So yeah, folks, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, sub, follow me here on YouTube on the road to 1000 right now. And really appreciate your support. And come see me on the stream when we have the stream. Either play Warhammer or just show some love or whatever it is you need. <laughs> we got it. All right, folks, with all that said, I hope you have a good one. Peace and goodbye for now.